All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how you can edit the details on your Steam profile page to control things like your animated border on your profile here, my little profile picture, picking an animated profile picture, and also how you edit all the various details that make up the decorations and the security that are on your profile. So once you're on your profile, first off, it, you get there by going up to this top menu here on Steam, finding your name and then clicking on profile and that little pull down menu that shows up. You'll find yourself here and this details things like your games, who's on your friends list, the reviews that you've done, your recent achievements. However you want to build this out, you can edit the showcase arrangement to be whatever you want by clicking on edit or change showcase and then you can put whichever one of these elements here on your front page that you want. For everything else, you'd go over here to this button that just says edit profile. Go ahead and give that puppy a click and here you can write down all sorts of information. For general, you can change your profile name you can change your real name to be not your real name because I would recommend not giving out your real name on the internet. And then you can change your custom URL, which you can see up here at the top. Steam is basically just a really big web browser. You can change what your ID says when people go to your profile. And then down here you can say where you live, you can add a little summary if you want, and then you can hide community awards on your profile. And if you change all this, you can click save. Next up, you can adjust your avatar. You can upload one if you would like, and you can also get ones that are animated, but you have to purchase those from another location. So if you want to see all the avatars you have available, there's a bunch of pre-generated ones that Steam has on hand that you can have for free that you get from playing or owning various games. I think some of these are just given to you as well, but I don't really want any of those. Then you can change what animated frame you have, and if you have more than this, it would open up down here to show you what's available. Same thing for the profile backgrounds, they just added animated and cool fancy backgrounds. You can see all of them here and pick from them. A lot of these I have from different games that I own. Uh, you can also adjust your mini profile settings so that you can change the default background. I think I'm actually gonna get myself a new background here in a second to put up on here. Same thing with themes. Based upon your profile, you might wanna have a different set of colors. This is the default, but because I got like an animated nature-y theme going on, I put it onto a summer theme. Featured badges are the badges that you've put together by combining Steam cards together. I play a lot of Warframe, so it made sense to put the Warframe one up. Favorite group, I don't really do this anymore, so it doesn't really matter, but you can pick a favorite group if you want. Featured showcases, this is where you would go to edit the arrangement of what showcases are shown and like what order that they are shown in. So you can click to move them up or down with these buttons here or manually drag and drop them. And you can also add other ones to your page by clicking on them here. And then if you want to change your privacy settings to control who can see what's available on your profile, like maybe I should probably set to friends only can see my friends and then game details can stay public and only my friends can see my Steam inventory because I don't know why anyone else would be creeping on that, but you know, that's just an easy way to save that. And then if you want to purchase some of those fun little animated wallpapers, you can do so inside of the points shop. Now up here, if you see up here at the top, I've got a balance of points. Points are acquired through buying games. Uh, I think you can also get some through playing games. In fact, it says right here how points work. So they allow you to customize your, your different, uh, your profile and all that stuff. You get 100 points for every $1 you spend. Buy any game, DLC, hardware, application, soundtrack, or in-game item, and you get points. So you make purchases, you get points that you can spend on your profile. Pretty simple and straightforward. 
Uh, they allow you to buy different things. You can buy backgrounds. You can buy animated icons. You can buy mini backgrounds like this one. You can get different little icons that you can use as emoji when chatting to people. You can get animated borders. All of that stuff you can find in here, and you can sort through it all on the sidebar. So you can get an animated avatar. And they're constantly adding new ones based upon different games. I'm uncertain if the game creators are adding these, or if it's just somebody within Steam. But you have a lot of different options here. Same with backgrounds. You can get a lot of cool, fun, animated backgrounds. Like, kind of like this one, too. And you can peruse, peruse through those. And then there's animated stickers, emojis, chat effects. All that stuff is all right here in the sidebar. So where is the miniature backgrounds? Animated mini profile backgrounds. Okay. So my, my icon is just animated mushrooms. So what kind of animated background do I want? Let's see all the mini animated backgrounds here. Feeling kind of space seems to work pretty well. Let's grab that one for 2,000 points. And then we can equip that now. And then it'll appear behind my friends list whenever I am dinking around out in the wild. So it's pretty easy to find these and to equip them. Let's see what we have for avatars. What do we got for animated avatars? My internet's a little bit slow, so it takes these a second to load, but if I wanted to switch to something else, you've got a humongous, giganto inventory of stuff to work from, so you have the ability to pick pretty much anything on this list. And then when you're done, you can just go back to your profile somewhere. I guess we just do it the old-fashioned way. And then you can see whatever changes that you make here or in your friends list. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. This has been how to edit your profile, both the appearance and also the security and how to get stuff through the points shop. I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.